so much local pride at stake in this derby, one of the great derbies of world football. It's Real Madrid against Atletico Madrid. We're off to the Santiago Bernabeu now, temperatures climbing, the day beautiful and clear. Your commentary team is Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler and this is the Bernabeu Stadium. Real Madrid got the better of Atletico, but they were fancy to do so, and they did in Lisbon in 2014. So Atletico have got a chance to, to counter-punch today, if you like. Yeah, they have, and it was a fantastic game, wasn't it? But Real just had the better individuals on the night, but I think this is going to be one to remember, too. This is the Real Madrid lineup. Garcia starts in goal. Pepe starts with Sergio Ramos as the centre-backs. James Rodriguez plays with Luka Modric in the centre of the park. Karim Benzema is the lone striker today. The Atletico Madrid lineup. Diego Godin starts alongside Jose Maria Jimenez in the heart of defense. Gabi starts with Thiago in the middle. Antoine Griezmann plays together with Fernando Torres. I've watched the game between uh, Barcelona and Atletico Madrid a couple of times, Alan, and I still think Barcelona are going to win it. It was a wonderful feat by Atletico Madrid. Uh, first title for 18 years in La Liga. I think it characterised their season, really. They were a proper team, they stuck together, they didn't give up at any point and uh, had several match winners within the group, apart from Diego Costa, obviously the goal-scoring hero, but uh, well-deserved by Diego Simeone's players. Alan, let us know your thoughts on Real Madrid here. Well, there are a lot of expectations at this club. I think many people feel they can end the season as champions, and... Uh, we might get a little glimpse of that today. I know there's a long way to go and the players aren't fit, but uh, they have got some good, really talented players out there. Marcelo. He's being challenged now. It's a free kick and that's all it is. The referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, I'm not sure if he was quite right in the World Cup. He certainly didn't play for Portugal in Brazil as if he was 100% fit. Here's the chance, the goal stands. The goal for Benzema, and that is not lucky by any means. He knew exactly where he wanted to hit that, and hit it with power. Another angle on it here. talk about it from a, maybe a British viewpoint but Gareth Bale and um, he wanted to go so badly and you can see why he's been fantastic oh hasn't he just it's so pleasing to see a, a British player go over there and look totally at home he's not been phased at all he he realizes he belongs in the company of Cristiano Ronaldo et al so he's certainly played his part Cristiano Ronaldo. Marcelo. Could get his cross in now. He's got to cross it. Not a bad cross, but it's the defender's ball. Good defending, slightly lucky defending perhaps as well. Player right at him, but he's kept the ball well. Gabby. 
Bale. Gross. And Ronaldo. Must have been very difficult for Cristiano Ronaldo. So much expected of him. But football is a team game. And uh, he wasn't able to carry Portugal in Brazil any further in the competition than the group stage. Modric. Oh, it's out of play, off the player. Gareth Bale. He's got two 13 so far. He's got a chance to add to that with a couple more games at least before the season ends. Yeah, I mean, he's done OK without setting the world alight, but uh, still a bit of time to boost that tally. Griezmann. Antoine Griezmann, who told us all before the World Cup how to pronounce his name properly. He's very much his Spanish background. Said he talks to his dog in Spanish and dreams in Spanish, so I think we can pronounce his name the Spanish way, Griezmann. Free kick given by the referee, and the defending team might be in trouble. They might regret conceding this. free kick and matched by the save here yeah he made it look easy but that was all about getting his angles right and Thiago Griezmann there's some potential in this move got to be hasn't hit the target Attack here. Well, I spoke too soon, not quite as planned. One for out. Cristiano Ronaldo goes in and gets the ball. Benzema. Challenge. This could be it. Here's the chance. Well, kept the shot out. It's still in play. The throw in for Real Madrid. Karim Benzema. He's been leading the attack and 15 goals so far. He could get to 20. Well, he could do, and I think if he does, he'll, he'll look back on that as a good season. Modric. Marvellous tackle. Player in the way there, and he's deflected the ball out of play. Cristiano Ronaldo. He's now 45-plus in terms of his goal tally, and you just wonder the opposition are going to be able to contain him. No-one's been able to rein him in, have they? No, plenty of try. Got to be. Made the save, but the ball's still there. Knocked it away. Great piece of defending. Now he'll get it back again. Gabby. Carvajal. Modric, Pepe, Bale, he is the governor-general of this team, passed it, gets it back, passes it again, wants it back. Cross coming in from Cristiano Ronaldo. In midfield, they've got it back via an interception.
Koke. That's a serious situation, and on he goes. Well, the slight tackle came in, but he's hurdled it. In with a chance. Good effort, very close. Carvajal, Johnny Cross. Karim Benzema, Bale. Oh, trying to get clear, but he's offside. Yeah, you do have to take a chance when you play that kind of game, but they're confident in the way that they're regimented at the back. an ordinary performance so far from Real Madrid by their lofty standards but they do have the lead of course it's still the second half to come it's a little late in the first half though here chance to cross well he's played it into the wide area there played it well well they stopped the attack he's given the free kick that's going to be a yellow card to the player of Real Madrid the ref did not hesitate producing that card did he Rash, Alan, reckless. Well, it is. He saw the ball and he thought he could win it, but just a fraction off. <laughs> Goalkeeper's got to it, punched it away. Atletico Madrid throw. Juan Ferran. Jesus Gámez. And he shoots. He's reached it and he's caught it with a save. Brilliant. Rodriguez. Now Rodriguez. Lost his man. Got it away. Well, I think we can understand why there's so much added time with the stoppages. Five added minutes. Modric. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. And they're getting the game going with a quick throw. Sergio Ramos. Tiago. Jesus Gámez. Griezmann. Here's the chance. It's a well-taken goal, and they're level. An equaliser from Griezmann. And what a finish this was. Really did put his boot through it to find the left-hand side. It's a goal worth looking at again, isn't it? Level pegging again at 1 1. Well, everything to play for in the second half. We've reached half time at 1 1. 
bit of a deflated mood here for the home supporters who've seen the away team equalise so close to half-time. Yeah, I just wonder whether the home side switched off a little bit, thought that they, they were closer to the half-time whistle than they actually were, and it's proved costly. So we reach half-time, it's nicely balanced, with the score one all. Let's take a look back at the highlights from that first half, and then we'll be straight back to your commentary team for the rest of the match. And there it is for Real Madrid.